Two local kids were sent to the ICU this week after being diagnosed with Lyme disease. It's a tick-borne illness that can cause all kinds of complications. The kids were treated for inflammation of the heart muscle. At Children's Hospital, they say the uptick in cases, especially among kids, is cause for concern. They're doing okay, and they're, they're really concerning us because it's not very often that we've ever had two children with cardiac involvement in the hospital at the same time. So it's uh, got us concerned because we're seeing a rise in cases of Lyme-associated cardiac involvement this year. Health officials say they expect to see about 500 total cases this year. Now, if you find a tick on you or on your kids, that does not automatically mean that you have Lyme disease. In fact, there's something you can do to make sure that you don't get it. Health editor Dr. Maria Simber has more, new at 5. You see a tick well attached to your skin, swollen with its meal. Is there something you can do to keep from getting Lyme disease? If you find a tick attached to you before the disease is really set up, a single dose of the antibiotic is sufficient to prevent the infection from getting set up. Studies show an 85% reduction in cases of Lyme disease when you're given a 200 milligram dose of doxycycline at the time of the tick bite. And by my conversations with local doctors, it's being given a lot too. But it's not for everyone who happens to notice a tick bite. The doctors have to be sure it was the specific kind of tick that carries the bacteria causing Lyme, it has to be an engorged tick, and you have to seek treatment within 72 hours of the tick detaching. If you see a bullseye rash, it's too late. Preventive treatment won't work. At that point, the infection is really set in and the bugs have multiplied and multiplied. There's a lot more of them. And so one dose of antibiotic will not do it and you really need to do a full course of antibiotic, which even in the earliest stages requires two weeks of therapy. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA TV News.